Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya Jnana Timirandasya Jnananjana Salakayan Chakshulamitam Jena Tashmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Vistam Stapitam Jena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Svapadantikam Vandiham Sri Guru Sri Yuta Padakamalam Sri Guru Vaishnavam Sa Sri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunatan Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvetam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Lalita Sri Visakan Uttam Shah He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dinabandhu Jagapatya Gopisa Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namaskriti Tapta Kanta Nagorangi Radhe Bunda Bandishwari Vrishavana Sutta Devi Panamami Hari Priya Van chakal pataru vyascha kripa sundu jaye vacha Patita nampa unibhyo vaishnavyo namo nama Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadara Siva Sadi Gauda Bhakta Vrindu Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Shema Bhagavad Gita Sites Ki Jai Sela Prabhupada Ki Jai Reading from Bhagavad Gita, as it is, chapter 3, Karma Yoga, text number 17 and 18. Just what more shared. Adma triptas chamanava Adma neva chasantushtas Tasya karyam navidyati Naiva tasya kriti narato Na kriti neha kaschana Natasha Sarva Bhuti Su Kastidarta Vyapashraya Jastuadma Tripratire Vashya Adma Triptas Chamanava Adma Nyeva Chasantushtas Tasha karyam na vidyati Naiva tasya kriti narto Na kriti neha kaschana Na tasha sarva bhuteshu Kaisidatta vyapashraya just to admire the devasya, 
Adma Tripascha Manava Adma Yeva Chasantushtas Tasha Karyam Navidyati Naiva Tasha Kriti Narto Nakriti Neha Kaschana Nachasha Sarava Bhutishu Kaschid Artavya Pashraya Next person, next person, next verse. Next verse. Jaha, one who, two, but, Atmarati, taking pleasure in the self, Eva, certainly, Shiat, remains, Admatripta, self-illuminated, Cha, and, Manava, a man, Admani, in himself, Eva, only, Cha, and Santushta, perfectly situated, Tasha, his, Karim, duty, Na, does not, Bidyati, Exist na never eva certainly tasha his kritena by discharge of duty artha purpose na nor a kritena without discharge of duty. Eha in this world, Kaschana, whatever, Na, never, Cha, and Asia of him, Saraba Bhutesu, among all living beings, Kaschit, any, Arta, purpose. We are past Raya, taking shelter of translation and purport by Divine Grace, let's see Bhaktivedanta Sain Prabhupada Ki But for one who takes pleasure in the self, whose human life is one of self-realization, 
and who is situated who is satisfied in the self only fully satiated for him there is no duty text 18 Purport. A person who is fully Krishna conscious and is fully satisfied by his act in Krishna consciousness no longer has any duty to perform. Due to his being Krishna conscious, all impiety within is instantly cleansed and effect of many, many thousands of Jagya performances. By such cleansing of consciousness, one becomes fully confident of his eternal position in relationship with the Supreme. His duty thus becomes self-illuminated by the grace of the Lord, and therefore, he no longer has any obligations to the Vedic injunctions. Such a Christian conscious person is no longer interested in material activities, no longer takes pleasure in material arrangements like wine, women, and similar infatuations. Text 18. A self-realized man has no purpose to fulfill in the discharge of his prescribed duties, nor has he any reason not to perform such work, nor has he any need to depend on any other living being. Report. A self-realized man is no longer obliged to perform any prescribed duty save and accept activities in Krishna consciousness. Krishna consciousness is not inactivity either, as will be explained in the following verses. A Krishna conscious man does not take shelter of any person, man or demigod. Whatever he does in Krishna consciousness, is sufficient in the discharge of his obligation. But for one who takes pleasure in the self, whose human life is one of self-realization, and who is satisfied in the self only, fully satiated, for him, there is no duty. In these two verses, Krishna is describing uh, Atmarati. One who is Self-realized. What is the the qualification for a self-realized soul? A person who is fully Christian conscious. Here it is said that he is satisfied in himself. He does not look for happiness outside himself. He does not believe that his pleasure, his satisfaction exists in someone's body, in another body, in another situation. He doesn't. Not just that he doesn't believe that, he also acts like that. So here is Santushta, satisfied person. <coughs> he is satisfied. Admirati is Santushta. A person who is self-realized, 
here it is said that his he is his consciousness is connected with the supreme consciousness krishna therefore his activities are not within the material world so it is said here he has no duty karyam na vidyate he does not performs activities with an expectation for the result for gain or loss that is not his concern he simply do his duty because he knows the purpose for all his or her activities <coughs> A condition should perform everything with some expectations. Therefore, there is disappointment. Because our expectations are always never met. All our expectations. There is no guarantee that we are going to meet them. Because nothing depends on us. Everything depends on providence. So it is said, man proposes, God disposes. We can plan so many things, we can do so many things. <clears throat> and expect wonderful result. From experience, we are always met with disappointment. A self-realized soul does not expect anything. He is in knowledge. So it is said here, he is self-illuminated. Atma Tripta, he is self-illuminated. In the purport, Sula Prabhupada <coughs> make it very, very clear. He says, such a person, Atma Rati, is a person who is fully Krishna conscious. Therefore, he is fully satisfied in his activities in Krishna consciousness. Because he is fully satisfied in his Krishna consciousness, no longer has any duty to perform. It means that he is not depending on anything, on anyone. He simply depends only on Krishna. <clears throat> so he said here, he has no duty to perform. He is not obligated today in the laws of material nature. He is not obligated. He is obligated only to Krishna. This is a self-realized soul. The proper said he is a Krishna conscious person. Because he is so Krishna conscious, there is no sin in his life. The fire of devotional service has burned off all the reactions of his activities. So he said here, he's instantly cleansed. <clears throat> this does not happen just for a few years, a few months of practice. He said here, an effect of many, many thousands of Jagya performances. He said, Babunam Janmanam Ante Gyanam Mam Prapadya Te Vasudeva Sarvamiti Sa Mahatma Sudurlaba. Such a great soul is very rare because it, it, it takes Bahu Janma to come to this platform. So Prabhupada said here, <clears throat> his situation is as a result of many, many years of performing sacrifice. In Christian consciousness, we have four regulatory principles to keep. And every Hare Krishna member knows it. No illicit sex, no gambling, 
no intoxication, no flesh eating. Is it not? <coughs> and we put we put so many emphasis on no illicit sex. But we don't know that majority of us are gambling. Because we put too much emphasis on illicit sex, we have forgotten that we are doing some other things. Also, in the name of being transcendental, we are doing so many things. Gambling. What is the meaning of gambling? <coughs> what is gambling? <laughs> to gamble. What does it mean to gamble? Speculation. Huh? Speculation. Gamble. Speculation. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Gambling. What does it mean? I want to understand. What is gambling? It, it is a thing we are preaching every day and we keep every day. Gambling. We use this word gambling for the greater principle. No gambling. Every day we say this. So what is gambling? I'm asking. Because I want to know. What is gambling? <laughs> yes, yes. Repeat what you said. Get something that's taking some other important thing. Time. We are gambling with time. <laughs> yes, very good. <laughs> very good. I <laughs> put your money in something you're not sure of. Yes, gambling. Huh? When <coughs> I give you hundred rupees, right? I'm expecting one thousand rupees. What is that? Gambling. That's what you're saying. Is it not gambling? Bhagavad Gita said, "Bahu Janma," <coughs> and we have chanted Hare Krishna for how many years? Huh? How many years? Huh? Few years. And you expect? You expect? To get to tomorrow. Is it not? So what is that? Gambling. You are gambling. It's gambling. <coughs> Our effort is too small and we are expecting mighty result. G gambling. And we want to gamble with Krishna who is <laughs> the chief gambler. <laughs> We should give up gambling mentality. Papa said here, due to his being Christian conscious, all impiety within is instantly cleansed, an effect of many, many years, many thousands of Jagya performances. Let us put more effort. Huh? We should not just put a little effort and expect by Kunta to come today. We should put more effort. Let us check and see if our effort is sufficient for what we are demanding from Krishna. Otherwise, it is gambling. We should not gamble. This is our four regulatory principle. We shouldn't gamble. We should be Honest, sincere, genuine practitioners of Christian consciousness who are putting effort in our practice. That is what will come, make us to come to this level, Atma Prati. Not cheating. By such cleansing of consciousness, one becomes fully confident of his eternal position in relationship with the Supreme. Let us look carefully to what Prabhupada is saying. Look at his statement here. By such clearing of consciousness, what is that? By practicing consistently, sincerely, conscientiously, we are trying our best to practice what the best is to take one to this platform. That will become purified by the process of Christian consciousness. Although we are living here in the material world, we are completely outside. That's a devotee. Such a Krishna conscious person is no longer interested in material activities. And no longer 
takes pleasure in material arrangement like wine and women and similar infatuations. This is the result of Christian consciousness. <coughs> it is not just philosophy or theory. The practical realization that everything we are hearing in the scripture will become a reality. We, we, we have to experience it. We have to feel it. Because it is a substance that can be experienced. So when you say a, a Krishna conscious person means the pure devotee. Pure devotee of Krishna. His activities or activities are fully Krishna conscious. In other words, he does not perform anything except it is meant for Krishna's pleasure, Krishna's satis satisfaction. That is the only motivation for his activities. Therefore, he is not part of this material world. This material world becomes a dirty place that he rejected exactly the way he rejected a waste item. Because he has something superior. He's identifying with Krishna, so he can see the difference. Therefore, he doesn't have interest for any material things again. Now he has a higher taste, a higher pleasure. So he said here is self-satisfied. Looking for the pleasure of this material world, the pleasure of the body, it means the spiritual taste is low. But the spiritual, the spiritual taste is very high, one will automatically lose interest for lower things. So, he said in the, the next verse, a self-realized man has no purpose to fulfill in the discharge of his prescribed duties. Nor has he any reason not to perform such work. Nor has he any need to depend on honor living entity. A self-realized man is no longer obliged to perform any prescribed duty save and accept activities in Christian consciousness. One of our great acharyas who is on this platform, he, he offered prayers. <clears throat> My dear demigods, My dear friends, my dear family members, you may consider me to be very proud, or you may consider me to be very lazy. Whatever you think of me, whatever you consider me, consider me to be, that is all right. I have nothing to do with them. Because now I have given my life to the enemy of Kamsa. And because of this, I have lost interest for everything. You may understand my situation, or you may not understand. That is your problem. My problem is that I am now meant for Krishna. And I am satisfied with my Krishna consciousness. Nothing else has any meaning to me. In other words, <coughs> Many people have different understandings about the situation of a devotee. Hmm? And Slapaba was asked, you are preaching Christian consciousness every day, but what are you doing for the world? What are you doing for humanity? In other words, he's asking, do you have free hospital to take care of people? Do you have free schools to train people to become engineers and scientists? What do you have for the society? They don't see that to take care of someone's body. <clears throat> Materially speaking, it looks very wonderful. 
But the true meaning to that is if someone is in prison, someone is in prison and is suffering in the prison house, and you come to him, my dear, my dear friend, eh? take this cloth so you can stay here in the prison house peacefully. Our philanthropic activities, that's what it means. You are in a prison. Take this, take this food, take this cloth. You stay here peacefully, remain here as a prisoner, and I will always come to take care of you. And foolish people are thinking, yeah, this is wonderful activity. This is wonderful. This is great. You are doing such a wonderful work for the humanity. Take a prize. But the person who is actually doing the wonderful activity does not seem to be appreciated by, by fools. So people should know this. So Prabhupada is saying here, a self-realized man is no longer obliged to perform any prescribed duty, save and accept activities in Krishna consciousness. He does only things which has to do with Krishna. That is exactly what Prabhupada did. The Prabhupada said, I know the father of all the living entities. I know where they come from. I know why they are suffering in the material world here. And my duty is to take all of them back to their father. That is the highest welfare work for any person in this world. That was done by Sri Prabhupada. So he has no material activities to perform. He only has spiritual activities. By giving Krishna consciousness. Krishna consciousness is not inactivity either, as foolish people consider or may think it to be, as will be explained in the following verses. A Krishna conscious man does not take shelter of any person, man or demigod. Whatever he does in Krishna consciousness is sufficient in the discharge of his obligations. Hare Krishna. Any comments or questions? I want to ask you some more expectation. Uh, but like, now to say that the man of 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 the that direct expectation. Expecting devotional service is not expectation. It is not expectation. When one is expecting devotional service for Krishna, Krishna give me service, give me service to do at the field, that is no expectation. It becomes expectation when we are asking Krishna to give us something else. That is expectation. Krishna conscious activity is no activity because there's no reaction, negative reaction to that. So it is considered no activity. It is activity because it's going to produce bad or good results. Anything which brings good or bad results is activity. But Krishna conscious activity has no bad result. It's only auspicious. Therefore, it is considered no activity. It's Krishna conscious activity. So desiring to serve Krishna is no expectation. Desiring some results, our our own interest, that is activity. That is expectation. It's we may get it, we may not get it. But most of the time we don't get it. <laughs> 